All right, Shalom, Akim, Shalom, Yasharala. First and foremost, want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachakwadash, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father, in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the ancient Hebrew. I also want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. I also want to send out a hearty Shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible. And risk their lives doing so in efforts of waking up the hopefully elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, this is your brother Karad from Great Millstone, Miami, coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimmy Shai. And Lord willing, this is edifying. Okay, now uh, what I want to get into is okay, well, I have three clips. Okay, and they pretty much, uh, you know, the first one, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, of Donald Trump, um, you know, surface maybe you know, a little less or a little over a month ago, okay? And, um, you know, I had plans to do a lesson on it, but, you know, how the spirit rose and um, the spirit brought me back to it. So here we are, okay? So uh, no further ado, I'm going to jump into these uh, these three clips and then we'll discuss them and we'll break them down through the spirit. First. Okay. One issue that has come up is once you do have a, a vaccine, how do you properly distri distribute it? Uh, how do you get it out quickly? The well, when we have the vaccine, we have the military all lined up, and the military is going to be doing it uh, in a very uh, powerful manner. Uh, these are people that don't usually do vaccines. They do soldiers, and they do lots of other things that, frankly, are more difficult. But we have uh, our general and uh, logistics. That They deserve to get this vaccine first. And from there, you want to do tiering in various countries to make sure your most vulnerable populations get it. Um, in, in our country, that would be blacks and Native Americans, people with underlying health conditions, and the elderly. And so we need to look at as a globe, and we're involved with many European leaders um, and African leaders and others in Southeast Asia to make sure there's a purchasing fund that can pull that vaccine through when it's available and get it out in wide scale distribution. You know, in fact, the testing could have been ramped up uh, very quickly in a few countries that have almost avoided the epidemic entirely, like uh, Taiwan, New Zealand, Australia. You know, they took their experience and actually prepared, and so they moved a lot faster. Uh, so we, you know, we'll have to prepare for the next one. That, you know, I. They deserve to get this vaccine first. And from. Okay, there you have it. The devil bites again. <laughs> but, um, hey, the water you have by Shimei, I was shy. Okay. That we have the understanding, man. And we we can see this coming a mile away. Now, did we, did we know that this would come in the form of a pandemic? Okay. Um, this on the being on the brink of uh, economic collapse and you know disarray and racial tension around the world. No, no, not necessarily. But we knew where we were in the end times. Okay, and we've been professing it and proclaiming it through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh going from my eldest elders on down, man. Okay, but uh, the reality is, man, hey, this devil is ready to roll. He's um so to speak, took the gloves off, okay, and uh, his horns are starting to peak out, you see, and um, in those three clips, nothing could be uh, more prominent than that, man, okay, here in the first clip, you had Donald Trump saying, look, they're going to come uh, issue or, um, you know, uh, 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 push out that vaccine in a powerful way, you see, and you don't need a brain. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to understand what he meant by that. Okay. And then the next clip was what? 
those uh, uh, military trucks, man. And if you notice, they, they had UN on them. They didn't have uh, 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 USA or uh, United States Army on them, okay? They had UN, United Nations, okay? Showing you, look, okay, the, the commander-in-chief is professing it, okay? And um, you're seeing the military or, or the uh, United, uh, NATO and UN, okay? Uh, showing, look, we have we have Trump. So, I mean, we're back. Uh, we're supporting what Trump is saying, okay. And then, thirdly, you had this devil, uh, 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 Bill, uh, Bill Gates, or those devils, Bill and Melinda Gates, okay. And, and, and just as, as, as proud as she wants to be, man, said uh, uh, they, uh, the, the blacks, okay, uh, need to be the first ones that receive it, and those that are, are black and Native Americans are the ones that are high at risk. OK, and they should get it first. OK, but see, like I said earlier, man, see, we have that eye salve. So we understand where this is coming from. This is a direct shot at what? At, at, at this truth, man. OK, at the, at the true people of God, at you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. OK, and guess what? The reality is we've been professing it and been telling people what? Get ready. Gird yourself up. Guard yourself. OK, come back to the Heavenly Father. Because when you sit back and look at it, man, hey, <clears throat> the Lord is going to allow his sword to do a lot of destruction and damage. OK, and his sword uh, 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 um, alluding to uh, this, uh, one of the Psalms, OK, uh, that King David wrote, he said, uh, uh, keep me from thy, uh, from the wicked, which is thy sword. OK, so. Having that understanding, man, that should put fear in your heart. Because ultimately, uh, the scriptures tell us what? Not to fear him that can kill the body, but kill uh, fear him that can kill the body and soul in hell. Okay? And that's the most high. You see? But understanding that what? Esau, Edom, okay, or the self-proclaimed white man is the most high sword. So a lot of our people going to get caught out there, man. And they're going to be destroyed utterly. Okay? Why? Because, hey, like the scriptures say... Uh, 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 a prudent man uh, foreseeth the evil and hideth his, himself, but the uh, the the, the simple uh, go on and are destroyed. Roughly paraphrasing, okay. And it's not going to be anybody's fault but their own. Why? Because the Most High sent his prophets out, you know, warning that these things were coming. Okay. And when you look at it with a, in, in 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 real time, man. Okay. If you're not of the elect, man, you're fucked, man. OK, excuse my language, but that's the harsh reality. And the scriptures uh, uh, reiterate that from Genesis to Revelations, man. OK, but we're entering into that time, man, where this devil is completely going to pull those gloves off and his horns are going to come out, man. OK, and like uh, Trump said, they're going to issue this uh, uh, vaccination out in a powerful manner. OK, and he said and he hinted that saying, oh, these soldiers, these generals and these soldiers, you know, they're they're trained in doing other things, other things like what? Like killing and roughhousing and what American troops have been notarized, uh, uh, notable for doing around the world, rape, robbing and pillaging. OK. So that's what he incited by saying that, man. OK. But, hey, the scriptures prophesy of him being a devil. And now he's about to uh, fully fulfill that lot, man. As if he hasn't already. He has. Okay? But the scriptures speak about this being like the time. Matter of fact, let me get that. Let me get that. Yep. Daniel 12 and 1. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. OK, and that's speaking of the children of Israel. OK, but the main point is, look, the times that are coming are going to be so harsh that the most high has going to send back, have to send back his high holy host, man, to defend the remnant of the nation of Israel, man. OK, just showing you. The, the the absolute wrath this devil's going to come down with, okay? And this is the reason. This is the reason why he's going to come down with great wrath, okay? Uh, Revelations 12 and 12. Revelation 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, 
and ye that dwell in them. Okay, and we all know who dwells in the heavens, the heavenly father, his son, the angels. Okay, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Okay. And guess what? The scriptures uh, 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 blatantly say that he is wiser than Daniel. Okay. So he understands the times and the season. He uses the scriptures to validate things, man. Okay. Like when he does his archaeological digs, he goes to the scriptures. When he's uh, seeking out uh, uh, the times and seasons and, uh, and the past times. Okay. He goes into the scriptures. Okay. Or, or how he thinks that he can upset prophecy. How, how how does he know what prophecy needs to upset? He goes into the scriptures. You see? But the cold thing of, uh, the, in the heaviness of, of the heavenly father is no matter what this devil does, he's still going to fulfill prophecy. Exactly according to how the heavenly father planned it from the beginning. You see? But that's the harsh reality, man. This devil knows that he has but a short time. So he's like that, that sore loser. The kid that 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 uh, you playing checkers with, and he, you know he sees he has one more piece left, and you got about five or six, and you got a few kings left, and then he just flips the whole goddamn table over. Okay, that's the spirit that Esau Edom is is, is moving with right now, man. Okay, and he's looking at it like you know what? If there is a chance that uh, we're gonna be taken out of power, we're gonna take as many with us as possible. Okay, and this scripture says that plainly. You know, knowing that he have but a short time, he knows. OK, because one of his great attributes is he loves to study. OK, and he, he knows. But the most high still has him in derision. Why? Because of his pride. OK, like the scriptures say, his pride has deceived him. OK. But nonetheless, man, those of our people that haven't uh, uh, ran into that strong tower, man. OK, or the name of your how about Shimei Shah. And and, and, com and and being compelled to do the things that the heavenly Father uh, asked of us, you gonna be, hey, it's gonna be ugly, man. Okay, because outside of divine intervention, how are you gonna avoid uh, uh, not taking a vaccination or not taking a microchip? Okay, or 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 um, you know, withstanding the worst times of all, man. Okay, when this devil has been strategically, strategically figuring out a way to uh, 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 bring in this new world order, which consists of the, the super rich, okay, and the poor. That's it. And everybody being in, uh, 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 given continual employment, man, okay? That's the whole motto. How are you going to avoid that Lest you have the Heavenly Father on your side, okay? You can't, and that's the harsh reality. And that's what we've been professing and crying out to our people, man. OK, but it ain't for everybody. And we understand that. We totally understand that. OK, and that makes your walk much easier when you realize that, hey, the sheep, his sheep are going to hear his voice. OK, this is Psalms 10 and 1. It says, why standest thou far off, O Yahweh? Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? Verse 2, the wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. OK, and what did that devil uh, Melinda say? Oh, yeah, you need to issue it to the, to, to the blacks and Native Americans, okay? And we all know the Latins fall up under the, uh, 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 the, the title of, uh, of Native Americans. Why? Because they were indigenous to this, to this side of the earth, okay? The Central and South and North America, okay? I read it again, verse 2. The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken into the devices that they have imagined, okay? And that's exactly how the Most High is dealing with them, man. OK, all of the devices that they've imagined against us, which is ultimately to take us out of uh, 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 out as a nation. OK, like it says in Psalms 83. OK, so ultimately they can get that birthright back. OK, because there's been a, a, a perpetual, a perpetual uh, a hatred, you know, uh, amongst um, the nation of Jacob, uh, or Israel and the nation of Edom. OK. And what did the scripture say to, uh, that uh, Israel shall have war with Amalek forever? OK. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing the culmination of that. So ultimately, you have, a, you know, um, a, a bitter Betty's and Esau who, who want to exact judgment on the nation of Israel. OK. 
for understanding that, look, the birthright is ours and we're the chosen seed. OK, a birthright, which they gave to us, which was through the spirit. But they gave to us, you know, in exchange for some red pottage. It's too late. <laughs> Verse three, for the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire and blessed the covetous whom the Lord abhorreth. OK, uh, verse three, I read three again. It says, for the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire and blessed the covetous whom Yahweh Bashim Yahweh abhorreth. OK, and that's what you saw in that first clip with Donald Trump, man. OK, boasting of his heart's desire. Now, ultimately, it's the desire of the elites. OK, but, uh, you know, he's sitting at that table. OK, he's sitting at that table and you can see the pomp in his face, man. You know, yeah, we're going to do it in a powerful manner. OK, ultimately inside and what? That you're not going to be able to resist. Like, like they say in those gangster movies, those mafia movies. Oh, he made him an offer. He couldn't resist. You see? And that's what's going to happen. Okay? Verse 4. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the most high. The most high is not in all his thoughts. Okay? And you, you, hey, you don't want to be tangled up with somebody who has no perception of the heavenly father, man. Okay? Why? Because that will make him extremely vile. And like the scriptures say, uh, uh, as any man as profane as Esau, who for one morsel, of, one morsel of meat sold his birthright, man. Okay? And I'm pretty sure, I am pretty sure, Isaac voiced to him, to his sons, okay, what the, the birthright would be, okay? And ultimately, it was the kingdom of heaven. You know, so Esau being profane as he was, sold his birthright, which was the kingdom of heaven for a morsel of meat, man. OK, showing you what? That the most high is not in all his thoughts. Verse five, his ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. He have said in his heart, I shall not be moved for I shall never be in adversity. OK, and that's exactly what you see when you see Donald Trump. Or any of these other Edomites that are in position, okay, that have high, uh, high office, okay. Even with uh, uh, uh what's this guy in in, in um, Russia? Um, damn, it's in my, it slips my mind. Um, Vladimir Putin. You can even see the pomp in his face. There's a, it's a different vibration, okay. But that's a hey, that's their mo, man. They are proud people, okay. Why? Because they believe that they are the heavenly father, like it says in uh. Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, the 10th chapter, it says, um, uh, pride, uh, uh, coming roughly paraphrasing, uh, pride interfering when one's heart departed from his maker. Okay. And we just read the most high is not in all his thoughts. Okay. Nonetheless, he hates Esau, but guess who created him? The heavenly father, you see, but he has, he, he doesn't think about him at all. Okay. He's not in all his thoughts. And that's a dangerous individual, man. Extremely dangerous. That means he doesn't have a conscience. And that's why he is the sword of the Heavenly Father. This is uh, the book, book of Proverbs, chapter 12 and 5. Uh, Proverbs 12 and 5. It says, the thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit. Okay. And when you when you when you really peel back the layers to what's going on, man, okay, and you just look at it for what it is and for face value, and you see the um, the uh, biggest uh, 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 detriment that comes behind this COVID nineteen is the economy, okay, and that's really what happened, okay. The economy was flailing, okay. Well, we had uh, uh, a Hamite and uh, Barack Obama. To, to come and say uh, change, 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 okay? And he ended up spending more than all 40, uh, 42 presidents, I'm not mistaken. He spent more than all 42 presidents did before him, okay? Which put the country in further debt, okay? So with COVID, we can say, oh, no, COVID shut down all the movie theaters and all the restaurants and the stores and People lost their jobs, 40 million Americans on unemployment, which which is uh, something that we really can't afford as a nation. So COVID caused us to flare a lot of control. OK, and it's and it just fits the narrative of uh, a problem and solution. OK, they caused the problem and then they offer the solution. 
okay? And it's all hid behind this pandemic, okay? Which fits what we read in verse 5. The thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit, okay? And this is all deception. You know, I looked at it today. I said, man, this damn devil got the whole world wearing masks for nothing, okay? And why I say for nothing? Because coronavirus uh, has a, 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 a survival rate of 996 Okay, so we can we can beg the question: Is anybody actually dying from this? Okay, but hey, we're not gonna get into speculations. We're just gonna deal with the truth, man, and what the scriptures say, and calling out our enemy for the devil that he is, man. Okay. Okay, but the point: A, hey, you heard Trump, man. He said we're gonna we're gonna do it in a powerful manner. Okay, and we all knew this. We knew this, and that's why we turn to the Heavenly Father, man, okay? It's imperative, okay? Uh, this is Isaiah 65. I'll start at 9. Isaiah 65 and 9, and I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains, and mine elect shall inherit it, and my servant shall dwell there, and Sharon shall be a fold of flocks, in the valley of Accor, a place for the herds to lie down, to lie down in for my people that have sought me. OK, you see, for my people that have sought me. And that's the more of the story, man. You got to be seeking the Heavenly Father. OK, finding out his ways, what he wants, what he doesn't want, what he what he's pleased in, what he's displeased with. OK, and, it, and it's, it's sad. And that's uh, 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 what makes you, you know, ultimately makes you uh, humble and contrite. Is knowing that somebody had to tell you you should worship your your creator, you know, in spirit and truth, you know. Hey, and, and once you understand that, you know, you understand that's your whole obligation. Ecclesiastes twelve and thirteen. Okay, let's hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. What else do you think we were here for, man? We were put here to seek the Heavenly Father. To be in his favor. Why? Because he had set up, he had declared the end from the beginning. Okay? And the end will be in signs and wonders. Okay? And then ultimately in the destruction. Okay? So this is Isaiah uh, 65 and 11. But ye are they that forsake Yahweh by Hashem Shah, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop, and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Verse 12, therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter, because when I call, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before my eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Okay? And that's pretty much been the narrative, man. When the Most High gets fed up, pissed off with the nation of Israel, him being the Lord of hosts, which means he's the Lord of armies. Okay? The celestial and the terrestrial armies. All, all armies belong to the Heavenly Father. OK, so when you piss him off and you and you, you, you play Billy badass, OK, and be disobedient, he's always sent in the troop. OK, and you can go back in history, whether it was the Egyptians, OK, the Babylonians, OK, the Assyrians, the Metal Persians, the Greeks, the Romans, all of those nations had war with the nation of Israel. OK, and came and destroyed us as a people. Why? Because of our rebellion, our disobedience. OK, so guess what? Nothing new under the sun. It's going to happen again. OK, and we're seeing it. We're seeing the beginning stages of it forming. OK. But hey, like we what, like it said here in 11. Um, no, Salakia, uh 10. I read 10 again. And Sharon shall be a fold of flocks and the valley of Accor, a place for the herds to lie down in for my people that have sought me. Okay? Showing you, hey, we have a just power, man. You know, he, not, hey, he made a promise to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that he would not utterly destroy the house of Israel, man. Okay? And, 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 and unless it had been for that remnant, uh, Israel had been like Sodom and Gomorrah. And when you go back and read the records and the tales, man, hey, Hey, it will be just, but the heavenly father swore by himself. You see, he's not a man that he should lie. Okay. Although hey, the majority of our people are going to get caught out there and destroyed. Okay. The, 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 uh, the reality is the elect have hope, man. 
have expectation to be delivered, man. Okay, because when you look at it, man, how, how the hell are you going to avoid what Esau is coming with, man? The scriptures say it's going to be like a day like never before, man, to the point where Michael the archangel is going to have to come fight, man. Okay, the devil's coming down with great wrath because he know he had but a short time. Okay. And what all you have to do is look at his military might, man, which was given to him by who? The Heavenly Father. Look at his military might. So what's the only way that you can combat that? It's to join sides with the person that gave him his might. You see? And it's plain. That's why the scriptures say our people are going to come back in the kingdom shame face, man. You know? Because these were, these were principal understandings, man. You know? Core principles. Fear the most high and keep his commandments. You know? Hey, look, we had to be told it, you know? And guess what? It broke our heart, made us humble and contrite, you know? And now we, 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 we seek after the Lord with fear and trembling, you see? And ultimately, that makes you exempt from the judgment that's coming, you know? This is Isaiah chapter 59. We'll close out with this one. This is Isaiah chapter 59. Um... I started 18, Isaiah 59 and 18. It says, according to their deeds, accordingly, he will repay fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies, to the islands, he will repay recompense. Verse 19, so shall they fear the name of Yahweh by Hashem Shai from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Shai shall lift up a standard against him. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, say if Yahweh by Shem Shah. Okay? So that's why our hope lies, man. Okay, and that is the only hope. That is the only hope, man. Okay, this devil has uh, 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 lifted uh, lifted himself up, of course, through the spirit of power of Yahweh by Shem Shah to where he's a formidable foe. The scriptures say he's the hammer of the earth. Who can make war with the beast? Okay, and the true answer is Yahweh by Hashem Shah. Not no militia group, okay? Not a, 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 you know, a sedition amongst men. None of that shit, man, okay? It's only going to be through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Shah, And it's going to be for those who have sought the Heavenly Father. I'll read 20 again. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion, okay? And unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob. Say if you how about Shem Shah. Okay, and that's the bottom line, man. And that's why I hope lies. And that's why we can sit back, you know, and have peace of mind. Understand it. Look, if it ain't the Lord, you're done. Okay? So we just gonna put all our eggs in the, the Heavenly Father's basket. Okay? And uh Lord willing, we endure to the end. Okay? So uh Lord willing, that was edifying. And uh with that I say shalom until the next one.